very effectively, and there it is, with a Josie on the ropes. There were also some great left hooks mixed in there, but that right hand is powerful, and there it is, doing serious damage, and he almost had a Josie. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with blue and white trim, Jay Lake joining us from Trelu Chebut, Argentina. He weighed in at a ready 139 pounds. With a record of 31 wins, two losses, and one no decision, he has 29 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the WBC Continental America's champion, ranked the number two super lightweight in the world by the WBC, introducing the hard-hitting Lucas Martin. Matisse. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trunks with green trim, fighting out of New York City by way of Lagos, Nigeria. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 139 pounds, undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 30 wins, no losses, 14 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the British and Commonwealth champion and the WBC number one super lightweight contender, introducing the undefeated Olusegun Ajose. Okay. Anything here is good. Gentlemen, the navel is the line. Anything below the navel is a foul. We went over the rules already. I want to remind you is protect yourself at all times. Obey yes. my commands at yes. all times. God bless. Touch up. To a Jose. Yeah, he can whack, that's for sure. This the left hand fighting the right hander. So we're, uh, a Jose is leaning forward and not pump. Lucas Martin. Speed, and he will throw lots of combinations, and there's an example. And he talked about that in the fighter meeting. The losses to Alexander and Judah. Nice exchange. Oh, the opening round, plenty of action here. Mati remaining of what has been an entertaining opening three minutes. A Jose tripped over the foot of Matisse as well. Fast and furious action here, quick exchanges. And, and, not as much, oh good, there's. And as you mentioned, Al Matisse very patient. We're comfortable there. He, he's outworking Matisse, but here's Matisse. Matisse beginning, beginning to unload, and now it's a Jose going to the body in the right hand upstairs on Matisse and a Jose change in. There's a nice uppercut from a Jose, and, and, and Matisse is a great. Bus Fistic Fury, we're seeing it in this one thus far. Round two, a minute, 15 seconds left. Matisse has a Jose on the ropes, working the body with the left hook to the liver. A Jose holding on the arm and gets that overhand right for his efforts and Matisse beginning to work away on a Jose on the ropes. Don't want to be there against Lucas Matisse. MJ puts himself in the corner, Matisse welcoming that, working him, rocking him now with the right hand to the head and Matisse beginning to pick apart a Jose in the corner, Moa stepping in, a Jose now wanting to... box, do you want to take it? Or do you want to give us a good... Now hit. beginning to use his footwork but it's Matisse's body. Now Jose comes back. Another left hand of the body. A right hand upstairs by Matisse. He is firing on all cylinders here with five seconds left. And a great round from Matisse. Very effectively, and there it is, with a Josie on the ropes. There were also some great left hooks mixed in there, but that right hand is powerful, and there it is, doing serious damage, and he almost had a Josie down. And Matisse has knocked down everybody that he <laughs> A dramatic round for Matisse. Hand upstairs, but it's Matisse staying body. Jose, if he could establish that jab a little, might keep Matisse off. A Jose again along the ropes where he does not want to be against a heavy hitter like Jose. Credit for pulling himself together in this round. Gets backed up with oh, that right my. and a left hook to the body. A Jose. Hands are low. And again through the guard is the right hand. Left hook to the lever. And now 50 seconds left in another entertaining third round. And Matisse. Jose in trouble and the left uppercut. A Jose though fighting back. He's a warrior and we see he's still throwing big punches yes. while Matisse is still coming forward. I said one of the wheels came off the skateboard. It looked like he must put it back on. He's moving again. We promised fistic fireworks. We promised one of the better fights of the year. And so far, this double punches like Matisse. Sometimes people think they don't throw combinations, a lot of punches. Matisse is a hard worker. Look at that combination. 
He doesn't throw just one punch at a time. He doubles with the right. He's still throwing shots. Some of them are wild. Some don't land. <laughs> to go there. And Ajose, though, comes up. No quarter as none given. Ajose jumping into Matisse now. Matisse bobbing, blocking that shot. Fires off the jet. Matisse having a monstrous round. A round that almost could border. Matisse's right hand is a shotgun. And also, he's moving he to his moved, left. Yes, and moving been to the body. He's also been very good upstairs with that. Beat Matisse, a master boxer, or someone oh, that can hurt him. Right there he goes. And Ajose stumbled but did not go down. Ajose is oh. one tough wow. fighter from Nigeria as he got rocked with that right hand but did not go down. Matisse stalking him now. And Ajose firing back with a one two. Matisse coming back oh. with a left hand to the body. Jo Leaning is Matisse. Whipping off the left hand of the body, then going up. Oh, another left hook to the body, and that has it down, not an official a knockdown. But Jose was badly hurt at this juncture uh, in the fight. Now, Matisse, even though he throws that right sometimes very wide, generates tremendous power. But in the midst of all of this, Jose getting raked over the coals, he still came back with lots of combinations and some big punches. This isn't uh, a bad step either. Not uh, Matisse. Ooh, left had Jose staying busy, but again oh. gets backed up on the ropes, and it's he doesn't want a Jose to get yep. trapped against the ropes. He's absolutely right. And of course, Paul Malinaji, a great mover in the ring, who can avoid those oh, traps. The left hook, uh -oh. And a Jose again in trouble, but hanging on as much canvas for the first time in his career. Oh wow, double left hook. His right hand. And a Jose just comes right back punching. This is a great fight, ladies and gentlemen, that we're watching today. Nigerian, now based out of New York City, he's still an active instructor in the Nigerian Army and wants to bring boxing back to prominence in Nigeria, but he has to pass this very tough test here tonight. Left hook from Matisse. Oh. Look of his own. Again, a Jose trips in. Punching back and punching back hard, but just can't keep the fire. Three punch combination by a Jose. Gets stuck with a jab by backs him up. Now strafing the body is a Jose. Probably never been really hurt. And if you can't hurt him. Scheduled for 12 for the WBC interim super lightweight championship. And again, a Jose with two punch hand to the body, then upstairs to the head. Oh, three left hooks by Matisse. There's the jab. Now a Jose has Matisse in the corner. Matisse able to bob and weave and Matisse says, is that all you got? Come on, lead left hook by Matisse. Right hand by Matisse. And you cannot question the heart and courage of a Jose, but it's been the power. In microcosm because it's a Jose trying to keep Matisse off of him landing punches, but then Matisse just comes forward and ultimately gets inside enough to show big punches like that left hook. And a Jose with all the problems he's had in this round in this fight has never stopped punching but the pressure and you see how smart Matisse is as a fighter he's not a one trick a Jose coming forward now and firing off a three punch combination oh. the majority of a Jose is back on his feet ladies the and gentlemen the second half of this title fight has begun and let's take TC it was come very close to dropping a Jose in this fight but a Jose now again along the ropes take these big punches for the last six rounds. He's in great shape. He's had, took some big shots and he's still punching away. Oscar De La Hoya, the golden boy, saying it all. Wow, Lucas is a bad man. And Matisse stalking a Jose on the ropes again. The left hook upstairs into the body. But a Jose trying to cover up and now firing off some rapid wheeled off the ropes the right tactic oh, oh and there's a one two from matisse and a jose still standing how is he taking the guns left in round seven matisse continues to work the body a jose going upstairs matisse bobbing and weaving luck of this is he drew a jose drew matisse as an opponent 10 seconds left in another barn burn in the last round we see the variety again from Matisse, starting the combination with the left uppercut, which is a little unorthodox. Starts it with the uppercut, it lands, it grazes him, then he lands the right hand behind it, and then he's getting ready to follow with the hook, but Jose's not in the position, so what does he do? Garcia fights Eric Morales. Again, that's a rematch that was 
a contract term. Morales losing the title on her 20th, and you're right, Matisse or landed. What's significant is you see how many of Jose's throwing. He's been active as those numbers update live, and it's not as if a Jose's been not active. Look at him throw a trip. And if you notice before the triple right hook, Matisse wants to. Jose coming yeah. forward and landing some punches, but just as I say that, Matisse is able to land a combination. Lucas Matisse is an opponent who I think might be the best 140 pounder in the world. Double left hook, but less than a minute remaining in round eight. An uppercut. Just this fight, I'm looking forward to see oh, more fights with Jose. the right oh, hand, but earlier in the fight. And it knocks fighter. A Jose get along the ropes and his head. He's moving to a, a Matisse right hand again every time he moves. That last round was the first one I marked, but I thought it was a good round for a Jose. And a Jose, great job working the body going. Uh, and he is tonight. It's just that Matisse is stronger and he throws those powerful combinations. Matisse fires off the straight left. A Jose comes back with his own. Now, Matisse has only been 12 one time, I guess. But a Jose definitely seems to be. Finding the second win, but again against the ropes, and then gets backed up with the right hand. And Matisse now a couple of left hooks, a third left. Less than a minute remaining in the ninth round. Straight right hand from Matisse, again backing a Jose up to the rope. Both guys are landing some big punches, big right hands, big level. Their feet are constantly tangling. But there it is seconds. again. Matisse with the right hand, and Jose ducks underneath that one, back to the center of the ring. Gets caught with the left hook. Ten seconds remaining in this WBC Interim Super Lightweight Championship bouts ninth round. Left hook upstairs, working the bodies, Matisse along the ropes. And ends the round with a left hand, smiling at a Jose. And here's what happened. At the end of the round, a monstrous left hook would be landed by Matisse. As he was against championship. Mauro Ranello along with Al Bernstein and Mark Two Sharp Johnson ringside for what has been a thriller. There's that triple right hook again by Josie. He's landing that punch. It just doesn't stop Matisse, but boy, he has his skills on Showtime. And while it's just for an interim title, oh, and he gets popped with the right hand. Has one on the left hand. And a Jose. Timeout called as Matisse hit him on the break. Now, Russell Moore wasn't quite there. Let's listen in. It's an impressive okay. moment in Listen boxing. I got you. Uh, Jose could have tried to play this for some kind of foul against Matisse. It was a marginal thing. Wow, big left hook by Matisse. Instead of Jose, came back fighting. Good for him. And Matisse unloading on a Jose to the body, but a Jose keeps coming back. And two warriors who have the scorecards. One cannot discount the courage, the heart. Night long, I'm gonna be in your face. But a uh, Jose comes right back. But look at Matisse. Like you said earlier, Al, I don't know if I've seen a more entertaining one-sided fight in a long time. It's amazing. And you know, in this round, the left hook has become the weapon of choice for Matisse. And it's been rocking a Jose. And Jose struggling. Less than a minute remaining in the 10th round. Left hand upstairs, a left hook to the body by Matisse. A Jose trying to keep him at bay with the jab again gets popped with. Now Matisse attack from a Jose. But again finds himself along the ropes. Now coming forward. Matisse gets tagged with a right hand, but cuts together a four-punch combination of his own. And now a Jose opening up a misses. Ten seconds left in the tenth round. Matisse. Oh, and fires off the right hand. A Jose's in the corner. A Jose goes down.
emotional Lucas Matisse receiving congratulations. A scintillating fight. A virtuoso performance for Matisse. You said, Al, that he may be the best 140-pound fighter in the sport. He is certainly in the discussion and could easily be. And tonight, he made his case. And the interesting thing to me about this fight is that he wore a Josie down and he fought a very good fighter tonight. Make no mistake about that. This is the biggest moment of his career. Early in this round, as we look at a Josie sitting on his stool and trying to absorb this unfortunate moment for him, there's the lead right hand that landed. That one was started the, the onslaught that would lead ultimately to the knockdown and knockout of a Josie. Now here's where they were, Russell Moore was jumping in to call a clinch and a left hook. Now I'm gonna tell you something, Russell Moore wasn't that close. Right. He may have just said stop, but he wasn't that close at that point. So you can't say Matisse's foul was blatant in any fashion and give Josie credit for coming back, but then he would get nailed with these shots, and again, a right hand, that one wow. was the final cruncher, and for Lucas Matisse, another knockout yep. win on his resume. 30 knockout victories out of his 32 career wins. A Jose tasting defeat for the first time as he goes down for the first time in his career, Mark. It was a great fight. Uh, as you notice, even when he went down, he struggled to get back up. He wanted to finish the fight, as Al said, early on. Early on, he could have gave up early, but look at a happy Matisse. A jubilant Lucas Matisse. All of Argentina celebrating as he picks up the WBC Interim Super Lightweight Championship, and here's a special moment. Let's now go up to Jimmy Lennon Jr. to make it official. There's some uh, technical difficulties with Jimmy Lennon Jr.'s microphone. We are uh, just awaiting the official decision. Let's uh, try it again, Jimmy. Okay, that won't work. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a time of 2 minutes 59 seconds. In round number 10, a referee in charge, Russell Mora, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is now...